Hello, everyone. It is Phil, and, and I get asked a lot about great Christmas presents and great holiday gifts. And a lot of people have asked me about short throw projectors and maybe projectors for outside and projectors for their home. And joining me is my man, Jaime, as well as Sean. Sean's on the phone. He's kind of hiding today. But <laughs> we're going to talk about some great options for those people that are offered by Elite Screens, including a new projection system. So let me ask you a, a question, uh, um, Sean and Jaime. Why a projection system, the whole package together? Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, yes, uh, Phil. Thank you very much for inviting us here and just allowing us to discuss this new package. So the Mazda Go 360 is an all-year-round uh, projector uh, screen system to catering, you know, to uh, the users that you know, summertime is pretty much almost over, uh, and we want to offer an inside screen as well so that you can mm -hmm. continue to use it year-round all four mm -hmm. seasons. I live in Southern California, so this is a um, – so it's always could be a four seasons, whether it's indoor or outdoor. But even when you, if you live where Jaime lives and, the, and there's actual <laughs> seasons, we don't have seasons in Southern California. We have no, one we season. <laughs> yeah, one <laughs> One hot, One not so yeah. hot, medium hot, and a little cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hot, not so hot, medium hot, and maybe it's slightly chilly. But for those who actually are out there that are looking for a projector that is a Four Seasons projector, this is a great option. Because a lot of times your backyard system is only a two-season backyard system for many people. This solution, you get your, you get more bang for your buck, you get more value because it is designed to be utilized year round, all four seasons in a variety of ways and a variety of applications. I actually have with in my room right now, the original Mosaic Go system that, that comes with the, the smaller screen. And you guys were nice enough to actually give me or loan me this little system here. And I've been playing with it. It's, it's absolutely awesome. It's amazing how everything fits in this cool little little package. As I get asked, oh, I need to buy a projector, and then what kind of screen should I buy? Or I'm buying a screen. What should it be? A Should it be a blow-up screen or a stand? I will tell you right now, don't use a blow-up screen. They never work. They always, they're always out of air and saggy, and the image is all out of whack. A, a traditional stand-based screen system works a lot better. The screen is tensioned and everything else. And what makes it really cool is you guys did a really good job packing and everything. So, so first thing is you get this little kit here, and the little kit comes with the projector. It has the remote. It has the um, the charger. And it has its own built-in battery. It even has a tripod. Everything in this little bag, and then the little 58-inch screen comes in this little guy. So when it showed up, I was like, "What did they send me?" Because normally when behind me sends me a box, it's gigantic. Right. But this time right. he sends me these two itty bitty boxes. And I was like, what is this? And I was like, wow, this is a projector and a screen. So instead of the the four by eight sheets of plywood, it feels like he's sending me. Um, I get these nice little compact packages and it's really easy. It took me two minutes to put the frame together and snap the screen on. And then it breaks down super quick and it goes right back into that bag. So you guys did a really good job of putting together this little this little this little system i did want to mention that it is ipx2 rated so in case you mm -hmm. do uh place it by the pool side and mm -hmm. you know kids are kids and they splash it it'll be okay mm -hmm. when i live close to the ocean and at nighttime it gets a little humid as the sun goes down so you know that it's pretty rugged so you start off with just the small outdoor screen and now you now have the ability to have an indoor screen and an outdoor screen. So talk a little bit more about the system. Yes, yeah, so we have two, uh, the Mazda Go Sport and the Mazda mm -hmm. Go Lite. And mm -hmm. the Mazda Go Sport is the one that uh, you have there, which has a rechargeable battery up to three mm -hmm. hours. Um, it comes with a 58 inch um, folding frame outdoor screen. And mm -hmm. we also have the light version, which that one is, does not come with a 
uh, with the rechargeable battery. Um, there's different size screens you can get with these as well, correct? Because I, I remember you, there was a little guy, and I liked the little guy, but I should have asked you for a little bit of a bigger one because it is a very bright. Um, it's actually a pretty bright uh, projector, and I've been using it on my Cinna White motorized screen in the office, and I'm like, wow, I could easily at nighttime um, have a a larger screen even outside. So, so what are the different sizes that are available for like the outdoor screen, and then we could talk and the sizes that are available for the indoor screen. Okay, so for the outdoor, we go from 58 inch, of course, there, the, the, mm -hmm. the one that comes standard with it, that mm -hmm. you always get that if you order either or, but you have mm -hmm. the option as well to uh, include the 90 inch, the 100 inch, mm -hmm. a 110 inch, and a 120 inch. Okay, so so a variety of of different sizes. So it comes with the little the little 58 for the outside, and you can just choose the size screen that you would want to use inside your home. And like I said, me personally, right this second, I am actually using a 100 inch screen right now inside, and it does a very very good job. Okay, so yes, um, so we have. Uh, the options, the indoor options now, which mm -hmm. are fixed mm -hmm. frame, the edge free mm -hmm. variant of fixed frame screens in a matte mm -hmm. white choice from 100, mm -hmm. 110, and 120 inch in a matte white uh, mm -hmm. ISF certified material. And mm -hmm. then you have uh, the ambient light rejecting for the ultra short throw uh, as well, mm -hmm. ceiling light rejecting screens as well from 103 inch all the way to mm -hmm. 123 inch. So let me ask you, how would I choose? What would be a good way for me to decide which one of these types of screens I should should purchase or which package I should actually get? Well, that's a good question, Phil. Thank you for asking. Uh, you want to go with a matte white surface if you can control the light in your room. If you have the ability and you want to live in a you know in a, a dark room or you have a dark room setup, you want to put a mm -hmm. fixed frame screen, a giant. Uh, mm -hmm system there go with the matte white and of course if you're budget if you're budget conscious as well however mm -hmm. if you want to bring it out of the dark and throw it in the family room a living room where you you want to be able to watch entertainment sports you know the uh, <clears throat> sports or whatever other entertainment um, with the lights on then you go ahead and choose the ambient light rejecting either the clr2 which mm -hmm. has a little bit of a higher gain um, and then, or you want to go with the CLR3, which has a little bit of um, a, a wider viewing angle and a little bit of um, a better ambient light rejection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, and I've and I've played with your materials, and it, it makes a world of difference. It basically turns a little guy into a into a little TV replacement solution. In my space right now, connected to the side of it, you'll see that there's a little stick connected to the side. So I went out and just got a little Amazon Fire Fire Stick, and I I plugged it into the side, and that's my uh, cable box, my Netflix, my Disney Plus, my my Hulu, everything I need to do. This goes in utilizing that stick. Now this picture right here, Jaime, is a great <laughs> idea. I didn't even think about this until you guys gave me this particular slide, because I have a big TV and my in my living room already. But a lot of times you do want to watch multiple games, right? And right. I didn't even think about setting up the other portable screen as another option so I can have two games going. And and by the way, two uh, so I can have a um a game going on a TV, I can have a game going on my screen, which is really really cool for us hardcore sports fans who want to watch two college football games on two large screens. I didn't even think about this. So I am absolutely gonna pull this one off. Um, or maybe I'll do it for Super Bowl. The wives can watch the puppy bowl while the, <laughs> while the dads watch the Super Bowl, right? So right. the other one that I did and my son actually loved, Jaime, was he has a Nintendo Switch. Oh, a little sweet. battery powered game. Yeah. You put a little battery powered game, which has an HDMI output, directly into the into this little guy and he could take it in his room and because it is a short an ultra short throw the whole little thing easily fits inside of his bedroom and he could sit there with his switch on his bed and play on a on a 58 inch screen dad could have the big screen in the living room or 
or in a different space. And then um, my son, if he wants to borrow the projector when he has friends over, can actually come over and actually set up the little screen inside of his bedroom or outside and they can actually game outside. And by the way, the sound is actually very good on this little guy. A lot of them that I've heard, it's better than a lot of the projectors that I've heard that are supposed to be inside with their own with their own speaker systems. So as a nice little portable gaming solution, it's actually really, really a, a good a good thing you can actually do with it as well. That also the low lag. You want to talk a little bit about the about the low lag on the projector as well. Yeah, so uh, we do have a low input lag of 17 milliseconds on the Mazigo. Uh, that is great for uh, obviously gamers out there who are mm -hmm. consistently looking for something that is better than even their TVs or other projectors mm -hmm. that, you know, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of projectors out there that started to focus on this, but we wanted to add this feature in addition to many other features for mm -hmm. that gamer because it's portable. And like you said, your son uh, likes uh, sometimes all the TVs are being used up. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I got my own here. <laughs> I can exactly. just bring it along or I can just set it up and, you know, uh, get 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 our game on. Yeah, and that was the whole emphasis of the Maz Go. Go, you know, that's the whole mm -hmm. theory is uh, entertainment on the go. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. where, if you want to, you know, and, and go outside by the pool, if you want to go camping mm -hmm. with it, it's mm -hmm. there. It's there for to give you a few hours of, of entertainment. Jaime, one of the things that I'd like about about your company is whenever you show me images, you show me real world images. Um, the fact that yes, this is bright enough, and you can utilize this projector um, in these real world situations. So these are actually shots of it um, inside. So that's a 100 and a 103, right? That is correct. So right here on the left hand side, uh, the Mazda go with the 100 inch matte white fixed frame. That's an actual mm -hmm. installation. Uh, mm -hmm. with the Mazigo, as you can see it down there, uh, and that's in a light-controlled environment. And as you can see, it's nice and bright, and mm -hmm. um, it's not getting that washed-out effect. And on the right-hand side here, we actually, we're actually showing it with a 103-inch CLR3, which is a ceiling ambient light rejecting option, mm -hmm. the, the, the fixed frame screen. And unfortunately, I was not able to <laughs> um, get the Mazigo in there because of the wide screenshot there. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I totally get, understand. I like the fact that the first systems you guys designed are short throw designs because it really does help um, when it comes to placement. A lot of times to get a larger image, the screen has to be way in the back of the room or way on the other side of the pool. So this makes sure that whether you're using it outdoors or inside, it's a lot easier to put a projector on a coffee table or, or in front of the couch then try to shoot a long throw over the couch. So the little 58 inch screen that I have here, the projector is what? Um, four, um, like about four inches from the actual display. So it's really, really simple to, uh, to set the unit up. And if I go to what, to the larger sizes, what is the distance? It's like for an 80 inch, you're like what, nine inches away from the front of the cabinet. So you could absolutely put that on a coffee table and project it onto a large screen um, without having you, like I said, try to shoot it over your shoulder. So I do like the fact that you guys are utilizing an ultra short throw. Yeah, and that was the whole uh, idea behind this design is to, we like to have everybody covered, uh, as you can mm -hmm. see from our library of products. But when, mm -hmm. we, when we decided to bring this out to market, we also knew that there were a lot of space constraints in apartments or in rentals or whatever it may be. And we wanted that customer to just be able to pull up a system, a projector system and enjoy a big picture. Mm -hmm. so, so Jaime, why don't you talk about the different sizes that are available with the more traditional um, white screens? Okay, so here we're looking at uh, the edge free fixed frames, uh, the screen sizes that are available with this Mazda Gold 360 package. And for example, with the light models, uh, as well as the sport models, uh, you start off with a 100 inch, uh, either a, or the 110 inch or a mm -hmm. 120 inch. And then now this mm -hmm. Cine White UHDB material is an mm -hmm. ISF certified material, which will, right out of the box, provide great color accuracy for that uh, home theater 
customer. And like I said, you do pay a little bit of a premium for the battery, but it adds a huge amount of flexibility on how you utilize the system. So moving on, you also have your ceiling light rejecting screens. And, uh, and can you talk about those different packages and options as well? Absolutely. So now we have the 103 inch with a CLR2, which is also an um, ceiling light ambient light rejecting material that rejects light up to 65%. Starting price at about 2279. Mm -hmm. uh, and the street prices are, you know, we'll go ahead and check those out and see that, that uh, they're going to be a little bit lower. So they're going to be more affordable for you guys. And mm -hmm. we also have the 105 inch and the 125 inch, uh, which is a CLR3 material, which mm -hmm. uh, has more light rejection and a wider mm -hmm. viewing angle. So they can go on your website and find the pricing or um, do you? Yes, okay. we can go to eliteprojector.com and that's where you'll be able to find all the options. Just go to the, to the Mazda Gold 360 and there's mm -hmm. a drop down there, a menu, mm -hmm. and you'll go ahead and choose the size and the package, either the light or the sport model. So you have tons and tons of solutions so you can find the right one for your needs and your budget. Okay. Exactly. Easy to install, tons of flexibility, year-round use, indoor and outdoor. How could you not think this is a, a really, really cool product? So, so let's go back and recap. The Mozic Go Lite, that does not have the battery. So whether you're looking for, the, whether you need the battery or whether you don't, there's a option for you. I really recommend the battery because it enhances the flexibility and the use and the use case of the projector. So I believe that it is actually definitely work worth the additional, the additional premium. And of course, like we talked about before, then you have a, a variety of different 16 by nine screen sizes in a variety of different materials. So it looks like you guys have thought about everything. Right. Yeah, and it also has a wireless uh, system there, Bluetooth. Uh, <laughs> so if you would just want to just use it for your uh, for your music, uh, you can just uh, your iPhone or Android or your tablet, just mm -hmm. uh, Bluetooth out and just use it as a music player as well. So guys, I'd like to thank you again for coming and talking about your great new projector, the Mazda Go 360. So if you are looking for um, not only projection systems but also a huge variety of projection screen solutions. Please check out Jaime and Sean's company, Elite Screens, because they have a tremendous amount of, of, of screens for you. They've taken care of me, and I use my, one of their um, Tap Tension Cinewide screens as my reference screen for all of my reviews, so the quality of all of their, all of their screens are very good. Whether you're looking for education screens, whiteboards, ultra short throw, or now even a complete portable projection solution. Make sure that you check out um, Elite Screens. So thank you very much for coming, guys. And we will talk to you guys out there soon. Happy holidays.